Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sissy, and today I'm going to show you a few poses you can do when you're dealing with constipation. Before we go any further, give this video a thumbs up, share your opinion in the comment section, and please do subscribe. First pose you're going to try is rowing the boards. Lengthen your legs, slightly tilt back, keeping the spine straight. Make a fist in your, with your palms and bring them alongside your obliques. Inhale, and on the exhale, go all the way forward. Maybe bring your chin or forehead to the knees or shin bones. And on the inhale, you go back. Exhale, send the arms forward and fold. Just imagine you're rowing the boat. You can do this maybe 10 to 15 times, depending on how you feel. Next pause, we are going to do the spinal column pause. Slightly lean back, reach for your big toes with your arms and open your legs out wide, intensely staring at a gaze point in front of you, lengthening your breath to gain stability. Next, we are going to try the cross walking. Bring your hands to your knees, come to a squat. And just keep alternating your knees, dropping them to the ground to the opposite side. You can do this maybe 30 to 100 times, depending on how you feel. Next pause, we're going to try the camel. Come to standing on your knees, bring your hands to your lower back like you're inserting them in back pockets. Push your hips forward and let your trunk fall back. You can stay here or maybe reach for your heels, keeping your elbows straight. Let your head fall back and breathe. Next, we're going to try the hair pause. Bring your glutes to your heels. Inhale, send your arms overhead. And on the exhale, bring your forehead to the mat like you're going in a child's pose. You can do this for as many times as you want. Don't forget your breath. Next up, we're going to try the sleeping thunderbolt pose. Separate your feet wide apart so your glutes can sit in between them, come onto your elbows and start sending your trunk back until your, the crown of your head touches the floor. Keep your back arched and stay here for a few breaths. You can stay for as long as it's comfortable. Next up, we're going to try the cobra pose. Coming to Come to lying flat on your belly. Bring your arms under your shoulders. Push your hips into the mat, lift your chest. Pull the mat towards you. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. Feel the, a small contraction in your lower back. Breathe here. See if you can even lift the chest higher without putting so much pressure on your palms. Hold it for as long as you want. You can even take breaks. Next up, we're going to try the ball pose. Bend your knees, reach back with your arms for either your ankles or your feet from the outside. Inhale, lift your chest, and on the exhale, kick back. Maybe lift the knees off the mat. And again, you can stay here for as long as is comfortable. Don't forget your breath. Slowly release. Come to lying on your back. Use your palms as pillows with your fingers interlaced. Bend your knees, bring them to your chest and send them to one direction, maybe to the right and look over your left shoulder for a supine twist. Maybe hold it for 30 seconds.
and switch to the opposite direction, 30 seconds. Now bring your knees to your chest, hug them tight. Bring your fist between your knees for a leg lock pose. And again, maybe you can hold this for 30 seconds or even more. Just go to your body's extent. Don't forget your breath. And when you're done, find your way into Shavasana. You can try any of these poses anytime you feel bloated or are having constipation, but no, this does not mean you shouldn't see the doctor. So much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what more content you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe. Namaste.